Wait, what? What is this? Oh. Oh, oh. all right, all right, I see you. Hey guys, Trigabba John coming at you with another Awakened Chaos Era video. On today's video, as you can see, we have some improved drop rates. Now, this is interesting. So, I know this Fire Slam event, I, I'm really digging what they're trying to do here and what they're trying to accomplish with this event. You know, they're, they released a new hero, they're adding a lot of hype around this hero, they're giving us a special event. We have kind of complained a lot about the different events. Obviously, you guys are aware we had a big debacle about what, what tier of the events we're unlocking on what accounts at what point in time, like what, what were the, uh, the checks and balances they had to complete to unlock the full layer of the tiers of the events. Now we have this new Fire Slam event, and honestly, guys, the drop rates, this boost is pretty legit. So as you can see here, I just did a 10 run. This is, I think, my eighth 10 run. This is actually the first one I have ran that did not have a Lego on it. And, uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm okay with this. And uh, let me explain to you why. So, for one, we did 10 battles. The average battle duration was yeah, about a minute 14. That's not bad. I'm not really trying. I'm not optimizing a, uh, a team for this because it's not that long of an event that I really feel like I should be optimizing a team to make this go faster. However... I do want to note that like these eight charms, like that's pretty good. I've already up to 32 of these these foot charms. Uh, that's significant. That's a lot of experience points. I mean, that's over over 90,000 experience points right now, and that's just from farming this event. Uh, like I said, I think I've done 60 60 runs. This may be my 60th right here. Uh, that's an impressive. So for those of you who don't know what I'm what I'm talking about, let me go ahead and show you and explain it to you. Uh, and, and kind of give you some validity and understanding as to what I'm talking about. So the Fire Slam event, which, as you know, when you go into your main screen here, you click on Dungeon, you'll see this big banner on the left-hand side. This is your Fire Slam event. Now, this has been updating. This has been going on now for a few days. As you can see here, we have about six days left of this. Now, when we click on that event, down here next to the Fire Slam, there was a symbol before that said, after seven days, we're going to start getting some boosted drops. Uh, we weren't entirely sure what this meant. If you go back to my last video where I kind of talk about, you know, like farming, farming this event, I already kind of advised you to, you know, it's probably worth it to do farming this event because you can go into the event shop and you can trade out these, uh, what are we calling these? Jade shards here. And you can trade out these jade shards for these charms, right? I was already telling you, like, this is going to be a solid plan because it's more of a guaranteed way. We broke down the math. It was like uh, 158... Yeah, 158 EXP per one energy. You know, we broke it down all the way to the cellular level. So depending on how much energy you popped open and you used it farming all these, you could turn that into essentially your EXP to go into your gear. Now, as you all know, gear is super, super expensive to level and very, very hard to level. Um, and actually, if, you, if you're wanting to go from a, a level 12 uh, piece of gear to level 15 piece of gear, it's going to cost you a roundabout of about, I think, 200,000 XP. Now, to put that in perspective, that's about 68 of those uh, purple charms. And I just showed you, um, you know, I have currently, I have 18 of the regular ones. If we go out of this here and we go into my inventory, I have approximately, oh, materials, sorry. Up here, up here, where are we at? There we are. I have 32 of these, so I still need to double this amount, really. To get one piece of gear from 12 to 15 as you just saw in that run at the beginning of the video i had eight that popped up uh so if i have eight that pop up right i need 68 so let's just say on average here we get 68 okay and we want to go ahead and say that maybe we get eight on average that's going to require um at least 80 and a half runs or so we'll say 90 runs to get one piece of gear to 15 that's the obviously the boot piece of gear right because these are boot specific but still um you're not gonna get that by farming gear uh you're not gonna get that by going into like ash or uh any other type of dungeon and farming extra gear yes you will get gear drops which are going to be helpful because maybe you do get a better piece of gear but overall you're not going to really um uh, expand these particular uh these uh charms essentially by doing this we also have other ones that we can farm. So if you go into the Fire Slam event, like I was explaining, 
you can see here that underneath uh what is this level six seven eight and nine there are specific uh emblems here these are your charms that you are available for drops right this is because this is boosted right now uh borden's blessing you know how i feel about this guy um stage drops extra gear charms of all types uh now that literally is going to be limited to the type listed below so for example this one you can farm you can get the sword uh charms you can get the helm charms you can get the or sorry we're not sword weapon uh the chest charms or the boots now your boot charms are going to be the most valuable the reason being is because you should always be having either a uh percent boost on all your gear for your character so for example you know brand he's level 15 he has a percent here well it's really hard to go from 12 to 15 and if we go ahead and we just take a casual uh, like stroll through some of my gear a lot of my gear pieces here are not leveled up to uh, 15 on my boots because it does take so many like i was saying it takes like 68 of them so you're going to need to run like 90 runs to average ish um, enough to upgrade a piece of gear to 15. that's a lot of runs it's a lot of energy spent however that's going to save you so much time because getting that extra stat i mean for example let's let's find one that i know i have another uh, hp boost of uh hold on two seconds okay so william william has oh no he has speed boots why did i okay i remember doing that um okay we'll use a uh, hacker here 39 percent defense at 12 but if we were to go up to brand here he has the 15 boots on 50 percent. that's an additional 11 percent stat boost that's pretty significant because that's going to go off of their base stats here which is going to be uh when you hit info it's going to be their base stat right here that exponentially grows that that's huge so really any of the any of these down at the bottom row as far as gear charms go are going to be so much more valuable than any of the upper tier gears so like for right now i'm going to go in i'm going to do a farm a lot of the fire dungeon or fire slam sorry and i'm going to go and farm as many of these as i possibly can now keep in mind these are going to be proportional uh, these charms are going to be proportional to the amount of gold you're going to need as well. Like you need 200,000 to go from 12 to 15. This means your gold here, which I have an abundance of, uh, also needs to correlate with that. So keep in mind, you maybe you don't want to exceed the amount of charms that you do gold because then you won't be able to use them and then you're going to go gold broke. At that point, you're going to go want to watch my video on how to get more gold because that's going to help you understand how to get more gold faster. But something else to also note is as you're doing these runs, you're actually getting some investment back in gold because as you win battles, you're getting gold back. Uh, I don't think it covers the uh, the investment needed to use all these charms, but it's still a portion back, which is definitely beneficial to your account. Uh, now, would I sit here and tell you to farm all these all day long? I No, I would not. I would definitely probably prioritize how many you need to do. Uh, keep in mind that this is going to be a limited time event. Uh, this is not lasting forever this is literally 24 hours so when time of watching this you're going to have um approximately 14 hours or so of farming left before this is going to change this is going to reset uh and when it does reset you're going to want to see what the next rewards are uh right now a lot of us are speculating that uh since we currently have you know the the boots with the upper levels here maybe tomorrow's is going to be the ring and amulet uh if it is whatever those are you're going to want to go ham on the ring so maybe don't spend all your energy that you have right now on farming these boots, but definitely invest a good portion because you're literally, you're double dipping. So you know you're going to get 50 of these shards drop every run. It takes 100 to get a purple here. So if you're going to do a, a 10 times run, right? So 10 times run is going to give you 10 times 50. It's going to give you 500. Take that 500, you know, you divide that by 100, and that's going to give you five more purple gems just on every 10 run. So you're automatically, whatever you're getting as far as purple goes, you can be reinvesting those uh, shards into these advanced gear charms. And it's going to be very, 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 very beneficial to your account. Uh, like, I'm probably not even going to buy these advanced summoning shards. I don't think I'm going to buy the foodies because honestly, the best value right now for these shards is going to be these gear charms. And if you're super, super gold broke, yes, you can go over here and get the gold. I just, it's not a very good investment. So probably don't do that. Uh, I, I do apologize. I was a little late for those of you who were watching the event. Actually, the last rotation gave you jelly. And it was such an exponential amount of jelly. Like, I have a lot of jelly already. As you see here, I have, tw uh, what is this? Uh, over 12 million jelly, which is quite a bit of 60s that I can do. 
But even though I have an overabundance of resources, I get 60 a lot of characters, it does not matter because that extra jelly would have been huge. I'm sorry I missed that update informing you guys. Don't hold it against me. That's why I'm trying to get this video out now. So that way you know what you could be doing. Um, I do, I mean, not to sound like a bro uh, broken record, I definitely recommend that you go here. You do as many 10 runs as you possibly can to get these charms because... It's worth it. Uh, the, the drop rate is exponential. Um, like I said, I've gotten almost every run so far. I've done 60 runs. I've gotten at least one Lego uh, foot charm out of the deal. Plus, you get the guaranteed five purple shards. And those purple shards go even further than the gear or than just those basic gears. Because these are the regular ones. These can be used on all of your pieces of gear. So, you know, you figure... You're getting, what is that, um, a 10 neuron, you're getting five of these each, you need 68 to go from 12 to 15. Uh, you know, let's do the math real quick. So 10 runs, if you just wanna do, um, so for every 10 runs, you're getting five, right? We'll say, and we need 68, so 68 divided by five. You're gonna need to do about 14 10 runs to guarantee one fit plus 15 piece of gear. And that's just with these advanced gear charms. It does not matter what type of gear it is. That's pretty beneficial to your count. Uh, you know me. I, I'm very... I, I wouldn't say I'm extremely efficient, but I'm pretty close to being very, very efficient on, on what gear I upgrade. Like, my gear-wise, you're not going to see a whole lot of 15s here. Um, I actually just did a lot of 15s just recently because we had the special gear event. Now, if you have not completed this event, man, this is honestly the best timing to go ahead and do this gear enhancement event, definitely go check out my video on the, my gear enhan enhancement finishing because I showed you a lot of how to um, upgrade those pieces of gear. But yeah, guys, definitely go check out that video. It'll kind of explain a little bit of like just if you're going to filter through gear that you already have and kind of the, the, the benefits and pros and cons of that, how much time it took for me to do that event. Uh, if you have not completed the event, by farming this fire slam, it's going to be really, it's a win-win for you. Uh, like I said, just... Try not to blow all of your energy on this because there is potential that we're going to get the rings and the amulets. And honestly, the rings is probably the best charms to have in the game. Because that's where your crit rate, your crit damage uh, rings are really going to come into play. So for your DPS units, having that plus 15 on your ring first is it, it's game changing, really. Because that is an exponential amount of crit damage that character is going to get. So definitely take some time. I would set, set aside, you know, maybe do 100 to 200 runs if you can. And uh, just try to gobble up a lot of these resources because it, it's almost like it's kind of like a free plus 15 as long as you can clear the event. Now, yes, it probably would be worth it to go ahead and do some of these other ones as well uh, because even though you don't necessarily you don't make up all of like the stats that go on a character, they don't scale as high. They still scale pretty decently that it's it's going to be worth it to kind of take some time, figure out which ones you really want to utilize. And even if you just want to say, hey, you know what? I don't want to waste a whole lot of energy. I just want to waste or use just a little bit of energy to get one piece of gear up to plus 15. That time investment, uh, your return on investment, your ROA, it's going to be worth it, uh, honestly. But yeah, I hope this helped you guys. Um, I definitely, I'm going to be farming it. As you can see here, I'm about to fire it up because... I can't help myself. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm i stingy. I, I don't want to spend my charms. I don't want to, you know, take the time to filter through the gear. This is the best workaround for me possible. So I'm definitely going to be farming this until I go to bed. And uh, I highly advise you guys to as well. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Peace.